Hey everybody, Mobile Media, Mobile Media, Eric Brown here at you again. Hey, I thought I'd share a, a story with you that uh, was shared with me by another veteran. Uh, and it, it was a very touching story that involved, um, you know, black veterans fighting in Vietnam. So but before I talk about that, it, it's funny because I ran across a story about two days ago. Um, and this is factual. In, in World War II, where there were... Um, how can I put this? There were efforts to make it seem as though black soldiers were lazy. They wouldn't fight. Blah, 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 blah. So if y'all go back and, and, and look at the history of that, sometimes black soldiers were not even given bullets for their guns, man. So And this, this is true. My grandfather used to talk to me about that. So there was always this way of making it seem like we were just lazy, which is totally opposite. So fast forward, I worked for a state. I used to work for a state agency, and we used to do... Um, Veterans benefits fairs where we go into communities, we'll set up tables within a, a, a building and we'll, we'll invite veterans and their families to come over so we can make sure that they understand what their benefits are. And so at the table I was at talking about veterans benefit, you know, oftentimes you'll have veterans in there who just, you could tell they're, they're just, they already know what their benefits are, but they just love being around other veterans. And so they'll come visit and, and chop it up with some of the other veterans and share war stories. And I often enjoyed when they would stop at my table and talk to me about their service. And so I appreciate um, any opportunity to talk to a veteran about what their experiences were. But this particular day, a uh, Hispanic gentleman stopped at the table. Hispanic gentleman. I'll never forget this. I would never forget this. And he was, um, he was talking to me. And then all of a sudden, I don't know why, but he kept getting closer and closer to me, you know. And... He wasn't like in my personal space. He, he, it's almost like he wanted me to feel what he was saying, right? So what he, what he began to tell me was kind of, it, it, it was inspiring me, yet it was, it was sad. He, he was talking about the black experience in Vietnam and the blacks that he fought with. And this is a true story. This was down in Corpus Christi, Texas, the gentleman. He told me that, um, that the black soldiers were some, some of the most fiercest fighters, you know, in Vietnam. And even oftentimes they... they Put them in the front, you know, the point person, whatever you want to call it. But uh, and I don't mean to make this a racial thing. This is this is our history. It's my history. And I'm going to tell it as, as I know it and, and, and as I see fit. So he talked about the black soldiers and how fierce fighters they were. They, I mean, they were incredible fighters. And the mortality rate was pretty high for black soldiers. If you go back and look at the numbers, uh, the mortality, the number, number killed, Probably shouldn't have been uh, as many, uh, but there are reasons for that. Um, but he began to talk about the black soldiers then. And, you know, at night when it was time to, to go to bed or, or get some sleep, whatever, in safe locations. You know, he said sometimes the soldiers be up fighting. They'd be up fighting all day, you know what I'm saying? Through combat and everything. And But the crazy thing about it was at night, this is what got me. He said at night when everybody was trying to get some sleep, or what they could, when everything was, you know, there was no bombing. Nothing like that. He said the black soldiers would be singing. They'd be singing all night. And he said it used to piss off the white soldiers out there. He used to piss them off. You know, but, but it, and I think he, what he was saying was that they didn't, you know, what he was trying to convey to me was that it's it just amazing that they had to fight uh, two battles. You know, they had to fight in Vietnam and, and fight the... Uh, some of the racial things that were going on back here in the States. But in the midst of that, they still sang. They sang. No different than back in, you know, the days of slavery when those picking cottons, they sang. They sang. And so uh, this guy was just in tears. I mean, he was just in tears, man. He was just, it's almost like he was apologizing to me for, for the way the black soldiers were treated. Um, but for me, I just let him know, man, it's, it's okay. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? We're still brothers. You know what I'm saying? But... I thought I'd share that story, man, because it just, it just, just, just imagine uh, what they went through um, and then to deal with it by singing at night, singing, that's, that's strength. So uh, with that, I'll let y'all go. I just wanted to uh, share another uh, one of my stories. Um, Eric Brown, Mobile Media, Mobile Media, happy, happy Veterans Day, happy Veterans Day.